Hey guys, insight number three. So this is Alma chapter 37. Uh, he's still talking to Helaman, but he goes on to talk about the scriptures and why we have them and why it's important to get the brass plates and the gold plates and to preserve them and to write on them and uh, the whole purpose for it. Uh, plus some other stuff about the Leahona, which is just lovely in the way that he talks about it and how like we have a modern day Leahona as the scriptures as well. So we'll touch on that for a bit. But I've just called this one for a wise purpose because it does say in verse 6, um, was it the one I was talking about? I think so. Anyway, it talks here that we, in this chapter, we hear again about that this record is kept for a wise purpose. And remember, oh, excuse me guys, remember we talked about when this first came up um, and Nephi was talking about it, he said like, I don't know why I had to keep this record. I don't know why God wanted me to write these things down. But it's for a wise purpose, and I don't know what it is, but I'm just going to do it. And that often we don't know what these things are that we're prompted to do, but if we're figured it out enough, we know that it's a wise purpose, so we just go do it. Because the Lord said it, there's a reason, we don't need another reason, just go do it. So, um, oh yes, in verse 2 it says there, um, I can see it now, in front of me, right in front of me, um, he says, I command you that you keep a record of this people according as I have done upon the plates of Nephi and keep all these things sacred which I have kept, even as I have kept them. For it is for a wise purpose that they are kept. And then he talks about the plates of brass which contain engravings and scriptures and prophecies and goes down. Um, and in 6 it says, Now you may suppose that this is foolishness in me, but behold I say unto you that by small and simple things are great things brought to pass, and small means in many instances doth confound the wise. So it's for a wise purpose, like the whole thing talks over why this might happen. In verse 9 he talks, were it not for these records, you wouldn't have been able to take the teachings among the Lamanites. Um, in verse 14, God has entrusted you with these things which are sacred. And then he goes on to talk about the Leohona, um, and that will fulfill the promise. And how it guided um, further over, oh it's, it's a really long chapter, it's got lots of good stuff in it. Um, in 38, he talks about the Leohuna, um, that they call it this, this ball that they call Leohuna and how it worked for them and, and that we need, um, like we don't need a Leohuna to find Jesus because we've got scriptures. and um, But what he said there is still true today in verse 40. It says, And it did work for them according to their faith in God. Therefore, if they had faith to believe that God would, could cause these spindles should point the way they should go, behold, it was done. Therefore, they had this miracle and also many other miracles wrought by the power of God day by day. I remember when we were talking about the Leohona way back, and I had remarked that um, David said to me, oh, it'd be so easy to have a Leohona now so we knew where to go, like, I'm like, to go get food, and I was like, yeah, it's called a GPS system to the supermarket, like, we have that, we don't need this compass Leohona ball, it was for that time, but the lesson in it is still very applicable today. Yes, we have GPS, yes, we've got maps and road signs and wonderful people that have gone before us and created all of this so that we can find our way around and we can say, yep, it's down that street, second on the right, and it's the blue house or whatever. Like, there's, it's so easy for us to get around. We don't have to wander around looking lost um, so much. However, um, when it comes to spiritual things, we don't need an actual Leahona to tell us because... Those things are still true today. It will work within us. It's almost like we have this internal Leohona compass that will work within us from our faith that will lead us to where Christ is. Again, the scriptures will do that. Um, Jesus is not hard to find. He's right next to you, relentlessly pursuing you. I'm going to keep saying that from Alda Karen because it's so true. Um, he will relentlessly pursue you. He's he's like after following you and just waiting for you to open the door he's not hard to find if you're like I can't find Jesus open the door let him in because it's right you know and you're like I open the door there's no one there it's like you're taking it too literal um it's just just invite him in pray and invite him in ask to see that he's there with you because he is so anyway it says here I just put down these notes there's some really good stuff in this whole thing and I'm going to touch on a bit of it uh, in the next insight, but yeah, just just wanted to bring up this. There's so many things in here that I've marked. It's a wonderful chapter to study for just what this wise purpose might be, and how it applies to us today. How this whole Leahona, how the 
keeping of the scriptures, the plates, the whole thing applies to us now. Um, so it says in this chapter, we hear again, it's record is for a wise purpose. What's the wise purpose? It's us. All of this was for us. It was yes for teaching the Lamanites. We get that. They took some of those plates over some of those records and taught the Lamanites of their father's traditions. But more importantly, it is for us in this day. A huge, huge wise purpose that they did not know and they just kept it faithfully anyway. And how grateful are we to them? But how much of it is a blessing to have these scriptures today? Not just the Bible, but the Book of Mormon. How awesome it is to have that. And to think we only have so much of a portion of it that there's still more in there maybe there's more in there maybe there's people that we don't know maybe there's people that we wanted to know more about and it actually tells us where Samuel the Lamanite came from or might have words from him you know like what like it could be all sorts of things um and verses 38 through 47 Alma compares the word of Christ to the Leahona so now we have the word of Christ back then Christ hadn't been yet they didn't have the words of Christ we do we have those words of Christ so that, that Leohuna compass exists within us if we know the words of Christ. Um, so how or what experience have you had in this aspect, like knowing what to do? It, it becomes like an, this internal compass. If you are living a Christ-like, spirit-led life, you don't need to ask for directions on certain things because you just naturally go there because that's where your internal compass, your internal Leohuna of Christ-like living takes you. Um, I've had so many, but think about which ones you could share with your class or your family. Maybe have a discussion around that. That would be great. And how can you use Christ's words every day to guide you like a compass? It's a spirit-led life. So how can you use these words that are in these scriptures, or even just in this week's reading from 36 to 38? The things in here, what are these ones that, rem that lead you to Christ? What are these verses that lead you to Christ, that put you Christ-centric? And help you to be there for a wise purpose. It's just beautiful. I just, you know, even being knowing that I can pray about what to do. And like, where should I go today to serve? Or, you know, when one calling finishes and another one comes and you're praying if it's the right one for you. And you're just like, yeah, I know it's going to be and it's going to be hard. But I've already got ideas coming. And I know where I need to take it. Um, I knew that with my primary children years ago, I'd go to a training, I'd be like, we're going to do this. And I'd bring it up to the presidency and they're like, I love that idea. And the, the kids clung to it. Um, it was scripture homework that we did. And you're like, what? And we did these scripture worksheets and if they did their scripture homework in the month, um, they got to pick from like a treat box, just things that were, you know, the kids love that aren't terribly expensive and... It was just a bit of a novelty for them and the fact that they did scripture homework and that was something that they could do with their parents and had like an activity out of the Friend magazine, which is I think still called The Friend, um, around that thing that we were talking about in primary that month and it really worked. It was a way to get them to scripture study even then and a good portion of those kids have served missions and been married in the temple and I'm not going to take credit just because scripture homework, but it certainly helped. Um, so that's just one of those things like that was, I didn't need a Leahona in front of me to direct me to do that. That was something that came through inspiration because I have that internal compass already in me because I have the words of Christ. Um, so yeah, they didn't have that. They had the Leahona. We've got the words of Christ. How does that affect you? What does that help bring out in you? And where does that lead you in your, like, again, those scriptures that lead you to Christ and that spirit led life. Um, how do you use Christ's words every day like a compass? How do you do that? Give us some give us some ideas. Give us some ways you do that. I'd love to hear it. All right, hang around. We're going to talk specifically in chapter 37 and look at verses 1 through 14 because very good. I'll see you there.